Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. And in this video, we are going to create uh, this kind of an app. In this, we are going to create a login page. And then whenever I will click on the login, it will redirect me to the next page. Let me just write something over here. And whenever I will click on it, it will just take me to this next page. So we are trying to learn over here is the usage of the rectangle property and the te and text field these are the main things and lastly there is page navigator how to navigate between two pages that's the last one so you can say it is like four or five things that we are going to learn in this video so let's start by building this first page and then the second one so for that uh, let's put an image behind uh, this thing so for that i'll grab this picture put it over here and then make a rectangle that will have a linear gradient i have removed the border linear gradient let's make it black but let's give it zero transparency let's make it black as well zero transparency make a node in between and give it less of a transparency okay cool so now what we need is is a text uh, which says key board sorry it is not visible right now because it is black in color so black on black doesn't appear that much so let me give it a little whitish grayish color change its font we'll give it keyboard sour let me just bring it up here so next uh, we just have to build this just grab rectangle create a rectangle and just copy paste or uh, let's just use it for a login button uh let's go to this elements open elements take this text field drag and drop let's make it a little short and let's copy and paste it change hint to username here change it to password you can even change the password uh, to make it a password field so that whenever you will click on it it will take the convert the text into dots so that the password is not visible to other users create the second page so for that go over here press new page and now let's change its color first of all kind of like this copy this paste it over here let's make it a little smaller let's give it a little darker color and let's make a rectangle copy this paste it let's paste it now go to the elements take an icon and go over here let's make it rounded and let's go to the home let's pick this and change its color like that the, uh, let's make it 50 now we have to drop these images so for that we can go over here and just draw these images now looks good right uh just run it so what we have done is we have created these two pages but we have not connected these two pages right now so if i will just run this thing so it is not connected with the next page right now so what we can do is we just connect these two pages so for that let's go to the logics right click add it in blub lightning and right click what we need is a page navigator and we want to navigate it to the second page so i will just take this thing and we'll connect it with the run and that's it uh, go over here hot reload it says performing hot reload it is performing hot reload and it is done so now if i will run it it will bring me to this next page 
all right so this is all for this first tutorial and in the subsequent ones a lot more is going to be covered and we are going to really build the logic systems around it thank you guys for joining us and see you in the next one when it went down it was so hard to breathe i gave up everything in the slow